Welcome to KnockoutCrypto.com. Thank you for following our channel. Um, we can follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Knockout Crypto. So why are the CEOs of Circle, Coinbase, and major crypto firms are bullish on Ethereum? Um, go to KnockoutCrypto.com as well to get our more up-to-date stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, bottom right-hand corner, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to Knockout Crypto for all the latest information. So executives and operators of major crypto conglomerates value that major many billions of dollars have been more optimistic toward Ethereum than Bitcoin, the most dominant cryptocurrency in global market as of late. Throughout the past year, Circle, the 3 billion cryptocurrency exchange and payments platform, and Coinbase, the 8 billion cryptocurrency brokerage company, which also remains the biggest digital asset exchange in the world, have continued to express their enthusiasm regarding the growth of Ethereum and its vibrant ecosystem, in which hundreds of thousands of developers are building decentralized applications to increase the adoption of the blockchain. Circle and Coinbase CEOs love Ethereum. This week on CNBC Fast Money, Circle co-founder and CEO Jeremy Altair said ETH could be the catalyst for the next cryptocurrency rally due to the enormous amount of developer activity on the Ethereum blockchain. Several analysts have disclosed that ETH currently has more than 300,000 developers on its network and have been adding more than 50,000 developers on a monthly basis since May. In July of last year, the founder and CEO of Argon, a decentralized governance protocol based on Ethereum used by major blockchain networks such as District OX and Request Network, said there's a gold rush among developers to learn the coding language of money adding that he does not know a single ETH developer that has not become a millionaire yet. Altair, who overseen the evolution of Circle from a cryptocurrency brokerage to a payments company and its re entrance into the cryptocurrency market, said that Ethereum as a base game for various types of blockchain and dApps is crucial for long-term growth of crypto. One of the things that really catalyzed the cryptocurrency market last year was actually that Ethereum in particular kind of got to a place where you could build apps on top of it. You could issue new tokens on top of it. You can create new kinds of financial contracts using the smart contracts technology. It also catalyzes a lot of competing infrastructures to Ethereum, Altero said. Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, the first unicorn in the cryptocurrency sector, has been consistently optimistic toward ETH since late 2017 when he publicly disclosed that he personally owns more Ether than the native, the, the native cryptocurrency of Ethereum than Bitcoin. His Fortune 40 under 40 profile from 2017 read, Armstrong, who now personally owns even more Ether than he does Bitcoin, is responsible for introducing much of America and beyond the cryptocurrency. The world's largest exchange for trading digital currency, Coinbase customers have more than doubled in the past year, while trade volume in 2017 alone is roughly eight times last year's total. Ethereum is a necessary base layer. Most million-dollar cryptocurrency companies and investors are highly anticipating the growth of ETH throughout the next few years, especially with the imminent launch of two-layer scaling solutions, Plasma and Sharding, because 90% of public blockchains and cryptocurrencies are already based on Ethereum. And the dominance of the Ethereum network over the blockchain and smart contract sector is rapidly increasing. Wow, it's not like we didn't know this. But I just think, you know, there's some sentences in this uh, article that really stand out, you know. Ethereum having more than 300,000 developers, adding 50,000 developers on a monthly basis. Um, the part where it says Ethereum, 90% of public blockchains and cryptocurrencies are already based on Ethereum. Um, and the dominance of the Ethereum network over the blockchain and smart contract sector is rapidly increasing. Um, the The solutions for... Um, for plasma and sharding for Ethereum. So, you know, this is what makes you think when you look at the other blockchain platforms, especially EOS and Cardano and Stellar, and you say, wow, Ethereum has a really huge head start on those other platforms. And if Ethereum can, can fix its issues with sharding and plasma, how does EOS and how does Stellar and how does um, Cardano catch up with Ethereum. I mean, 90% of the public blockchains and, and cryptocurrencies are already based on Ethereum. That's a huge first mover advantage. It's very, it's going to be very hard for EOS, Cardano, and um, it's going to be very hard for EOS and Cardano to catch up with Ethereum. It just really is. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see how that works out. If Ethereum is, is that good, it's going to be really interesting to see how the other cryptocurrencies catch up with Ethereum. Um, but yeah, the other platforms. But yeah, so obviously Brian Armstrong, he thinks Ethereum is, is going to go further than Bitcoin. Um, and basically, Ethereum is the most valuable cryptocurrency besides Bitcoin. It really is the 
it is the skeleton key. Um, if, if 90% of the public blockchains and cryptocurrencies are already based on Ethereum, Ethereum is the skeleton key, the master key uh, to the whole blockchain cryptocurrency network right now. So yeah, let me know what you think of the article about uh, why Circle, Coinbase, and major cryptocurrencies are Major crypto firms are bullish on Ethereum. Subscribe to the channel, knockoutcrypto.com. Follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Let me know what you think about the uh, video in the comments below. Thank you for your support. Subscribe, like, and comment on the videos. Thank you guys for following knockoutcrypto.com.